Mother's Day is coming up. If you're still looking for a way to gift mom mm -hmm. uh, something, maybe try something homemade. Yeah. So. No matter if you're artistic or not, it's the thought that usually counts, especially with mom with handcrafted gifts. TV 5's Lauren P.S. goes live this morning at Art uh, Studio 23 Craft Bar and Arts Center to show us some DIY gifts that you can make this Mother's Day. Yeah, that's right. Blake Sierra, good morning. We are live here in Bay City at Studio 23 Craft Bar and Art Center, and we are going to start our next little DIY craft for you. Joining me this morning is our Curator of Education, Misty Cross. Good morning. Good morning. So, Misty, what is our next project? So, our next project is going to be a fun mixed media necklace. Uh, this one's kind of in process, so you can kind of see that it's mm -hmm. still a little white. So I needs, heart mom. <laughs> I heart mom you. Um, that one needs to dry about 48 hours before it's going to be crystal clear. Mm -hmm. But what you need is you need watercolor paper or some kind of cardstock, something a little bit heavier. We um, already pre-drew our circles on there, but you can see that they come with these little glass uh, tops to them. You can trace them. Uh, make as many as you want just so that you have kind of a variety a kind of choice um, You know if mom loves flowers, maybe uh, She likes sailboats coffee rainbows uh, Whatever you Fun. like this one was done with uh, Thumbprints so you can take your child's you know fingers and make little hearts or flowers. Yeah, um, you can also use acrylic paint um, which we have here. Here's some kind of Michigan themed ones over here. And we have flowers that's done with acrylic. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint uh, with our Mod Podge. You can get that anywhere. You can get it at Walmart, Dollar Store. We're going to paint a thin layer in the bottom of our little jewelry plate there. I'm going to stick in our little drawing. We're going to evenly press and these are great because they come in bulk so this one came I think in like uh, 48 pieces or something like that so you can make a bunch you can make finished necklace yeah. <laughs> and that takes about 48 hours to dry so um, you want to make sure before you give to mom that it gives a nice time to set just so that it's not still kind of milky and if you're painting with white paint, uh, also while you're doing this, make sure you label which one's Mod Podge and which mm. one's white because they're easy to mix. Don't want to mess that up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Misty, I love this craft because I think it is so easy, especially for younger kids. You're mm -hmm. just drawing a little picture using Mod Podge. I mean, the steps are so easy, and it really does make a good keepsake gift from your little ones. Yes. You can wear it around your neck or use it as a keychain, which is so fun. So, mm -hmm. great idea for Thank sure. You. Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. As I say, the one thing you want to know about it is uh, you can't use like water-based things, so like something like this watercolor marker mm -hmm. or maybe something like Crayola markers are not good because they'll bleed into the Mod Podge. You want to use okay. something like a Sharpie or a gel pen. Um, you could use uh, acrylic uh, paint or also colored pencil. All right, some good tips for sure. Want to keep that in mind. Thank yep. you so much, Misty. We'll show you guys some more easy DIY crafts you can make for Mother's Day coming up. So stay with us. But live in Bay City, Lauren Piesco for TV5, sending back to the studio.